and the U.S. death toll from coronavirus rose to 22 today. CBS 2's Nancy Chen reports the outbreak has now affected 34 states and the District of Columbia. The Grand Princess is scheduled to dock in the Port of Oakland in the San Francisco Bay on Monday after being held at sea for days. 19 crew members and two passengers have tested positive for the coronavirus. Officials say the more than 3,500 people on board will be moved to military medical facilities around the nation for testing. This is a very difficult time for you, another 14 days for many of you uh, to be quarantined. Uh, but uh, it's all about not only your safety, but your family members and your community when you come back home. As the virus spreads globally, Italy's prime minister also announced the lockdown of some 16 million people in the northern part of the country. The news sent people scurrying to leave the region. Dr. Anthony Fauci, a leading member of President Trump's coronavirus task force, was asked if similar measures could be issued as the virus spreads in the U.S. I don't think it would be as draconian as nobody in and nobody out, but there'll be, if we continue to get cases like this, particularly at the community level, there will be what we call mitigation, where you'll have to do essentially social distancing, keep people out of crowded places, take a look at seriousness, do you really need to travel? Campaigning in Mississippi, Joe Biden talked about holding public events as he applied hand sanitizer before a meal. We're listening to the experts at the CDC and taking advice from them. The Washington, D.C. area's first confirmed case is head of a prominent church in Georgetown. The Vatican announced it's shutting down museums until early April, and the Pope live streams Sunday prayers, coming to the window only briefly to the delight of people in St. Peter's Square. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.